Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Extra Chapter Readers. In this video, I have the top five games and applications for the iPhone and iPod Touch of the second week of June 2015, so let's get right into this. The first application I'm going to be showing you guys is a game, and it is called Dude Perfect 2 by Miniclip. So I'm going to show you guys some of the game mechanics here and give you just a bit of gameplay. So the main menu is pretty simple, and let's go to one of the beginning levels here. Let's go to level, let's do eight, just for fun here. So this one introduces a new ball, the bowling ball. So you're gonna wanna use that to break through this and then you will use uh, your basketball to get, oh my gosh, that was way too hard, uh, into the hoop. So there we go. And that should be probably a two star because that's pretty crappy. Yep. So that is Dude Perfect 2. It's basically just a um, different weird version of Angry Birds. It's a little bit different. Puts a spin on it. The thing I don't like is that you have to wait for your energy, but uh, other than that, it's an awesome game. So check it out. It's free in the App Store, and I will have it linked down below. Alrighty, moving on to the second application. It is also a game. It is called Jumping Fish. Now, I typically do not like Catch, -a catch Apps apps because I just think that they're pretty crappy and full of advertisements. However, this one brings uh, some new game mechanics to it, so it's it's worth a shot. So I'll show you guys this right here. So it's really simple, just like all of their other games, and you just tap to change the direction of this jellyfish to make it go up or down, and sometimes you get stuck like that. So I'll do one more round just to show you, but uh, I'm going to try to avoid these. I guess they're mines. I'm not really sure what they are but uh, as you can see it's full of advertisements and that's really all you do so it's worth a shot um, so check it out the next one we have is Brim so this application just came out and I believe it's by the same people that made Subway Surfers so it does have a similar feeling to it um, so let's let this load up and we will see what it's all about alrighty so here we go it is basically like Temple Run like an endless runner like that but it adds a lot of things like you can attack the enemies and you can climb up on these walls like I'm about to show you like that. You can kind of fly, sort of, kind of like gliding. You do all kinds of stuff. So I just took out that enemy there and I will take these guys out like that. And overall it's a lot of fun. It's a lot more fun than say Tabboron or something like that. I never really was into them. And you can save these little guys collect these things and complete quests and overall it's just a lot of fun so check this app out for sure guys uh, it is free and I think you guys will enjoy it oh 20% battery that's a good spot to stop all right moving on we have ETA now this application is not a game what it allows you to do is see the estimated time of arrival for any place using your current location to wherever you want to go so I have put in some dummy ad addresses like McDonald's or a gas station uh, just to show you guys how it works and uh, yeah that's really all there is to it so if I want to go to my university right now it's gonna take me 20 minutes and if there is traffic it'll have an orange dot over there uh, and it will tell you the time so if you swipe to the right or left you can see how long it would take to walk which is probably not gonna happen so yeah this is ETA for the iPhone and iPod touch uh, it is definitely worth looking at if you travel a lot or if you just want to be on time for something so it does have a notification center widget which is also nice so check it out I'll have it linked in the description below all right moving on to the final application of the second week of June 2015 we have Swifty so this application basically teaches you how to use Swift for programming so it does come with the first chapter for free the second chapter you can either pay for or share the thing on Twitter or Facebook but there's a way around that and uh, yeah the rest you have to pay for but it's really cheap I think it's like three dollars for all of it and it comes with let's see 14 different lessons and it's all pretty basic programming stuff I mean uh, let's see Let's go into this one. So it's basically just teaching you about variables and strings and the differences between um, integers and doubles and floats and all that stuff. So uh, it's definitely good if you are a new uh, programmer or you want to learn Swift and you haven't gotten around to it yet. 
and uh, it does have these little questions which you can solve here uh, like after you figure it out you can click solve and it will tell you the answer and uh, yeah so it's definitely worth checking out it is free in the app store uh, but like i said you only get the first chapter for free um, but yeah that's swifty for the iphone and ipod touch linked down below so those were my top five applications and games for the iphone and ipod touch for the second week of june 2015 if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one